everyone. What I'm going to show for you today is a short review of the Mantis Knives model MT1, the Sliver. The Sliver is one of Mantis's lower priced knives. It has an MSRP of about $40 and the actual street price you're going to find them at about $20 to $25. So very affordable. For being one of the lower priced Mantis knives available, I was surprised there, the lack of reviews available for this model. So that's kind of why I'm making this video. I want to share what I know about it for future buyers. For the specs of the knife, um, these are straight off the Mantis website. There is a 3 inch blade. has the Mantis logo on there. 420 HC steel. with a black finish. I'm not sure if the finish is black paint or what other kind of coating they might possibly have used. And since this knife to me is new, I'm not sure how it's going to wear, so the time will tell. <clears throat> There's no jimping on the knife at all. If you look right behind the blade there, you'll notice it's very smooth all along the top. So certainly not meant for a hard use tactical folder type option. But this is more of a gentleman's knife. Very, very simple style. There are bronze washers on the inside construction. My camera is not very good, so you can't really see them in there. Um, but the knife does just flick right out very easily, quick to deploy. That's something I liked about my other Mantis knives. Very quick and easy to flick out. This is one of the lower budget Mantis knives and so is this one right here. This one is the Class Act MT2. So basically the same exact form factor, or same exact size I should say, just a different shape. Both have 3 inch blades. The handle itself is this really shiny aluminum material. You can see that right there. It has a clear coat finish on it. So that's kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested to see how this knife will wear over time to see if it gets scratched or whatnot. Because when I first bought this knife, it felt like it was plastic, like it was a painted plastic shiny color on there. But the website does list it is a 6061 aluminum. So that, that's um, what I'm trusting there. Overall length is seven and a quarter inch seven and a quarter inch. The handle length here you'll see it's significantly longer than the blade itself because the handle is about four inches or so and the blade is three. Um, there are these three cutouts near the end and you can see as I'm retracting the blade here this last cutout does not go near the blade so there's this extra space in the back so if you wanted to attach a lanyard or some kind of paracord. I know some people have designs on their paracord and they like to hang them off the end. That could be an option for it. I would have preferred they just stuck in a standard lanyard hole like most knives see today. That would be kind of preferable, to me at least. But I could see the design they were going for, very smooth finish. Um, you'll notice, of course, there is no pocket clip on this knife. This knife was meant for pocket carry. And that's exactly why I bought this particular knife because uh, sometimes I'm wearing dress pants, sometimes I'm at work, don't want to have a knife clipped to my pocket advertising that I have a blade on me, so this is the perfect option for that. And it is perfect for those EDC tasks, small blade, not too scary for people who don't know anything about knives to carry around with you. <clears throat> I do like the blade style of the knife. Take a look at the blade right there. It has kind of that, um, I forget what it's called, but the organic curvature on the blade right here. It's very reminiscent of something, um, that Ken Onion design style. Let me show you an example, actually. This right here is a ZT0350. And if you look at them right next to each other, of course, they're totally different knives, different sizes, different uses but they have that same curve at the end, that same amount of belly in the style. So that's kind of interesting that Mantis went with the this, this style of blade. They call it on their website the dash. 
but um, you can definitely see the inspiration they got from Ken Onion. And you'll see that same style of blade on a lot of Kershaw and ZT knives. Uh, fit and finish wise, you can see the blade centering, not quite perfect there. It's a little bit off to the side, but it's not rubbing on the liners. So for this price point, I'm not too disappointed in the fact that it's not perfectly centered. So if you're anal about that, this is how mine came, straight out of the box. So overall, not a bad knife at all. I'll be carrying this one in my pocket quite a bit, so like I said earlier, I'm a little bit worried about how this finish is going to age as time goes by. Um, but other than that, it's a decent pocket carry knife. Nice offering from Mantis for the lower budget, $20 to $25. <clears throat> and that's pretty much all I have to say about this. So very fast to deploy.